Welcome to Talk About Topeka Live, coming to you from the Topeka Performing Arts Center. We have a great Making Main Street segment with you. Here today we're talking about Zimmerman and Zimmerman Law Firm, but also the charitable things that they do in our community. And it's brought to you by the Field of Greens in downtown Topeka. Topeka's, downtown Topeka's best spot to eat a healthy lunch every business day. I'm your host, Chris Schultz, and we have Angel Zimmerman with us. How are you doing, Angel? Hello. Hello. Thanks for joining us on the show today. I uh, wanted to bring you on the show because uh, there have been so many things that we've been involved with that you're also involved with. Uh, I want to talk about some of your charitable things that you do within the community. There are several boards you serve on. Let's start there. Okay. Right? Uh, tell us about what you're doing. Well, um, I got the opportunity to first start out with Housing and Consumer Credit Counseling mm -hmm. a long time ago and be put on their board. And then just recently, we started working with Kansas City for the Women's Foundation and they started talking about being put on civic boards mm -hmm. and it was really interesting that Karen Heller who put me on Housing and Consumer Credit Counseling was also there with the Women's Foundation to put me on my first civic board and so that is um, the Topeka, the downtown Topeka Better Improvement District. So it was fun to be put on that board yep. and then got the opportunity to, um, well, I belong to lots of organizations, and I thought this is going to be my opportunity to actually possibly say no, uh -huh. um, and got asked to be on Parks and Rec Foundation. So uh -huh. I brought that home, talked to my family, and they're like, well, you can't turn that one down because that would be the ultimate Leslie Nope thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I started serving there. Um, and then um, I do lots of... Um, uh, women's organizations have found me. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I have gotten the opportunity to serve as the president of the Topeka Women Attorneys mm -hmm. Association, the Kansas Women Attorneys Association, and the International Women in Law for the J. Reuben Clark Law Society. And currently, I'm getting to serve as the national president for the National Conference of Women Bar Associations. And I got to bring um, that board to Topeka, Kansas, and we did a Good Guys program which was Guys Overcoming Obstacles to Diversity. So that was really fun. It's awesome stuff. And, and you look at that and you see how you're getting involved with the community. You know, I want to give you the, the opportunity to kind of give a plug for Housing and Credit Counseling because that's a very important organization here. And then I want to also talk, just as we set this conversation up, uh, in a little bit more about what it's like to be in the community and say, I'm going to get involved and how other people might be able to get involved the way you did. Okay. So let's talk about housing credit counseling first. Sounds good. Um, so I, as an attorney, I um, work in the collection field. And so um, debtor education is very important to me mm -hmm. um, in serving in that. And then we also got to help with the women in money. Mm -hmm. And um, I um, had the opportunity. Um, a lot of times people say they'll take their daughters to the... Um, growing up, the preteen kind of things. But for me, it was important to um, teach um, financial education. Mm -hmm. And so my three girls and I um, signed up to do the Women in Money series when they were little girls. And then my daughter, when, my oldest daughter, um, we were able to be a panelist two years ago together talking about the importance of women in money. And she's also done some uh, national work on um, dead, uh, well, money education. Mm -hmm. So that's been exciting. It's very cool. And then also, you know, getting involved with downtown and the Parks and Rec Board, there's mm -hmm. been a lot of change going on Absolutely. in the community. You know, the last, say, you go back 10 years, it's almost not recognizable, you know, to where we are today. So it's a very exciting time to be joining in and doing that. And what was it like, you know, to get involved with that to, you know, make the commitment to make Topeka a better community? Yeah. Um, it was exciting for us when we were deciding to. Um, do the buyout for the law firm and um, were we going to continue to rent or were we going to buy and deciding to take over the old AC Sporting Goods store. So mm -hmm. um, got that feel and then got to feel the just the vibe of we are going to do this right, we're going to do the infrastructure and then we're going to build up was a really exciting thing and easy to be a part of that when you knew that we were going to take care of things from, from the ground up. Mm -hmm. So I really enjoyed that part. And then Parks and Rec um, came in right at the opportunity to work on the um, Junior Pond. Oh, yeah, and very cool. um, so uh, I got to read the proposals and help do the interviews. And that just, it really felt neat to be in on that. I think mm -hmm. at first, 
um, I was like, okay, I'm a Kansas girl. This is a fishing hole kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, well, we're going to be putting in a lot of cement. But then as I heard um, that it would be easier for people to fish and that we would also be able to have people with um, certain handicaps that they would be able to, mm -hmm. um, I started to get to really feel, feel the dream. And then just a couple weeks ago, I got to meet the Hanger family who really um, did the did the monetary um, investment to make that happen. And it's pretty exciting to get to explain. Um, I do a lot of stuff with high schools. Mm -hmm. um, and getting to explain to the kids, I met people who donated significant money mm -hmm. to, to our community. And getting to watch them say, oh my gosh, I would love to grow up and be able to do this too. Absolutely, absolutely. And for, for their family and what they're doing here, absolutely. what was it like to meet them? And to kind of see, you know, this being part of something where they're making it happen and, and creating that vision. What was that All like? Right. It was it was phenomenal to to see that they could see the fruition. Mm -hmm. um, so um, Mr. Hanger had his 90th birthday with us. Wow. And so that was really a neat opportunity for him to get to sit on a bench and to to see because a lot of times a lot of donations that people make. Um, they're not going to actually get to see the fruition of it. So another thing that I'm working on um, or helping with is the Justice K. McFarland, yeah. the Japanese Garden and the Event Center. Zoo, and yeah. um, so um, obviously Justice McFarland isn't going to get to see the fruition of that, but um, to know that she was in on the planning stages mm -hmm. and that you're getting to help with that legacy. It's just Making it amazing. Happen. Yeah. And I want to talk about, you know, your background and getting involved with the community. Mm -hmm. How long have you been around Topeka? So I was born in Topeka yep. and then always within a 50 mile radius, Lawrence, Burlingame, um, Emporia, and then back to Topeka, been in Topeka for over 25 years now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, you're doing great things. And, you know, on this show, we like to show people off who do great things to get involved because a lot of times there's just, there's so much work that goes into these things. And it really does take the dedication of folks. And maybe if you want to make a, a, a plea to anybody out there who's thinking, you know, if they get asked to be on a board or they're, you know, they, they want to get involved with something, you know, what do you have to say about being involved with this? You know, it, has it uplifted your life? It has dramatically uplifted my life. Um, so yes, um, we definitely need more people to serve on boards and commissions. Um, again, with, with my, um, passion or love for women, um, I really encourage them. It's, it's super easy. You can go to the Women's Foundation. They've got a little form that you fill out, just a couple answers. You say what you're interested in, and then they'll help work with you. Yep. Um, another thing that we know, uh, we provide some education. Because I know it, it can be a scary thing. It's like, what am I going to be asked to do? What am I going to be asked to vote on? Yeah. How can I say, say something in a room? How do I come to the table? that type of thing. And so we're also working on doing um, some education pieces. So periodically at my office, you'll see us um, learning how to do Robert's Rules or um, just how to become more community involved. So very good. Well, I, think, in that. I certainly want to thank you for all that you do in the community thank you. Uh, to make it a great place to call home. Uh, it's great to share the place with you. Uh, that's Angel Zimmerman. Uh, you can check out their information about their law firm. It, it is at z2law.com. Check that out. You can also find them on Facebook. Give them a follow. Give them a call at 357-0021 if you want to find out how they can help you out. And I want to thank you so much for being on the show today. And thank you for all you, you do to make Topeka a great place to call home as I get tongue-tied here. There we go. All right. And we would like to thank our sponsor for making this happen. It's Field of Greens, downtown Topeka's best spot for a healthy lunch every business day. Your mom would be proud because our mom works there, and we're right around the corner from you. Yes. So I see you there all the time. Thanks for coming by. Thank you, thank you. All right. And you folks, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Talk About Topeka Live from the Topeka Performing Arts Center.